Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into my YouTube channel. When I first started my YouTube channel, I did a video on soft plastic color selection. Basically, what colors did I feel like you had to have in order to be successful day in, day out, and through all the seasons. And I thought I'd go back to that original formula and do kind of a series, basically a keep it simple series. What, what it would look like if we boiled down everything to just the colors that I feel like you had to have to be successful. And so what, that's what this series is gonna be about. This is the Keep It Simple series, and I'm gonna do crankbait colors. I've got square bills out here. I've got a box of square bills. And one of the things about square bills is, I mean, I really like uh, different colors and different variations. I feel like in certain watercolors, there's definitely going to be times for a specific color. Different times of year, I might lean towards one or the other. And even regions of the country, I might lean towards uh, a specific color as well. However, that's because I travel all around the country and fish tournaments all throughout the, the whole year with the exception of maybe the late fall winter time frame. So you definitely don't need all those extra colors. If I was to boil my color selection down to three crankbait colors that I feel like you had to have, like the must have three colors, that would be a chartreuse color, a shad pattern, and some type of crawfish color. A guy might, might make an argument for a brim or bluegill type pattern, but the three that I feel like you gotta have, again, chartreuse, shad pattern, crawfish pattern. Those are the three I feel like that are really gonna work. And the reason why I think chartreuse is such a, a big player is even in clearer water, sometimes a chartreuse, that brighter kind of a shock color, that brightness really draws fish to them. It's, it's a color, chartreuse or bright colors like that, they really get a lot of attention in the watery environment. And in that, it gets you more bites. So you can't argue the fact that a, a chartreuse blueback anywhere in the country is really a bait that's gonna get attention, it's gonna get seen by fish, and because it gets seen, whether it's really clear water or even in dirtier water or more stained water, the, the chartreuse blueback is a killer. Now that's not actually my specific color that I would choose in the chartreuse genre or the chartreuse spectrum. My favorite is actually chartreuse blackback. I feel like you gotta have a chartreuse blackback. And uh, Striking makes a couple different ones. I believe that's a, that's a Katawashi special, this one right here, because Kevin Van Dam won the Bassmaster Classic in New Orleans on that color. So a true chartreuse blackback that, that would probably be my go-to. This one is kind of their ver their version 2.0, which has the gills there and the little shad dot, which is also, also you know, excellent. But I, I prefer this one because it came out first and I got a lot of, I caught a lot of fish on it right out of the gate. So I, I got a lot of uh, confidence in that color. When I see that color, I think I'm gonna get bit. And when it comes to chartreuse colors, that's the one, chartreuse black bass. However, in certain places of the country, Guys like a chartreuse blue back, like I'm circling back to. This is an excellent color. It's probably one of the top producers in deep diving crankbaits. It's probably the go-to uh, for most pro anglers on tour, wherever they are in the country, whether it's the Kentucky Lakes or the, the TBA River Chain, the big reservoirs down in Texas, just basically anywhere when it comes to deep cranking, chartreuse blue backs a must have. So some type of chartreuse color is is definitely a must have. You need a shad pattern. And this is a kind of just a, a pearl black back. Um, just, you know, a basic shad type pattern. And probably my favorite is sexy shad. I want, and when I say shad, I mean something that's in a white, kind of a pearl or white color. The sexy shad pattern was popularized by Kevin Van Dam. I think he won two Elite Series back to back. I think he won Gunnersville and then followed it up and won Grand. And that really kind of catapulted this color into the spotlight. And it's been a mainstay and every lure manufacturer has uh, 
has a version of this sexy shad, but that's the Strike King KVD 2.5. And actually, this is the Rattling Series, which I think you can only get those at Bass Pro Shops. But I would say definitely some type of shad pattern. Some places where the water's clearer in the country, that's a green gizzard. And, and that more translucent color would be uh, more acceptable in some clear water environments. However, some sort of bait fish pattern, whether it's blueback herring or threadfin shad or some type of alewife, it doesn't really matter. A bait fish pattern is a must. And that's probably my go-to, like my number one. That's something that I feel like you gotta have, chartreuse, followed by chartreuse. And then the last one, crawfish. Depending upon where you are in the country, particular crawfish patterns are going to work you know really well you've got to have a crawfish pattern this one's a kind of a green pumpkin color and uh, this is this is a great one I think Kevin Van Dam won one on Grand Lake an elite series event the proper name for that color is brown craw but this would be something that would be good in the say what we call the heartland which is the Missouri Oklahoma North Arkansas, that whole area right there, Lake of the Ozarks, Table Rock, all those kinds of types of fisheries, and even Grand would be considered in that type of zone. So there's definitely specific colors that go into specific regions, and, uh, and it's gonna vary where you are in the country. This is probably one of the top colors as far as in the pre-spawn. This is kind of a red craw with an orange belly, and this is kind of a, a blend of the chartreuse and then the craw. The, this is another good one, specifically in the colder, more stained water. I feel like that one, in the, and when I mean colder, I mean pre-spawn with that chartreuse in there, shows up really well. This is another good one. This is called DB craw. It's kind of a, just kind of a muted, more natural crawfish pattern. That's a great one also. I mean, that's gonna do the heavy lifting in my boat day in day out i feel like those baits get me bites again number one a chartreuse pattern number two a sexy shad pattern or a shad pattern and then a crawfish colored would also fit the bill so when it comes to thinking about your your must-have crankbait colors i feel like anywhere in the country you can go and catch fish on this I think, again, there could be an argument for some of your bluegill patterns. That could be, that could come into play. Definitely, I would consider some different bluegill type patterns, more of a translucent, more of an opaque. Uh, these two, you know, bluegill patterns could, could be, there could be an argument made to keep those in the boat, for sure. I, I know I've got a few of them myself, but those three colors are the must have, in my opinion. If you have those three colors in your boat, I, be, I feel like you've got your bases covered. You might, on a given day, be able to catch more fish on a certain color that's a basically a spin-off of one of these colors, but more for, for all intents and purposes, you're, you're gonna have your bases covered no matter where you are in the country and no matter what time of year, you'll have, you'll have a crankbait color that the fish will bite. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for tuning back into my YouTube channel. If you like this, give me a thumbs up, share it, send me a comment if you're like, hey man, I think there's another color that really needs to be added in there, and there probably does. Specifically in certain regions around the country, there's going to be different colors that need to be added in there, but these are the three that you got to have in your boat when you head out on the water, wherever you are in the country, no matter the season. Until next time, guys, thanks again for watching, and good fishing. GoPro, stop recording.